Ready where my breakfast. And what you're hearing in the background here is brand new stuff from the new album by Holly Smith and Mara TK. A track here called um, Autumn Rain. And it is a, a brand new album. It's only just been released. And I'm very, very chuffed to um, talk to um, one half of the album. It is um, Holly Smith joining us live in Berlin this morning and this evening. Good evening to you, Holly. Good morning. Yeah, how are you? <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. Um, what takes you to Berlin and how long have you been there? I've um, been here for a few weeks, away for just a month. Um, I was going to be over for a little bit longer and try and achieve some working kind of scenarios, but um, that didn't end up happening. So, um, But there's heaps of people touring and basing themselves here at the moment, so I had lots of couches to stay on. Oh, no so doubt. That's essentially what I was taking advantage of. Some people are saying like, um, like Berlin's the new Melbourne for, for New Zealanders. Uh, yeah, well, I guess um, there's been you know, a lot of people who are sort of... You know, with Freddie's touring Europe and Shifter's touring Europe and Lady Six Park touring it, like Europe, um, it's easy to tour Europe almost than it is Australia. Yeah. Australia is a real hard market to crack and not a particularly yeah. um, awesome one. Well, it's cheap. Um, it's cheap once you're there, there right? Like it's quite cheap once you're there. Yeah, well, Berlin's cheap as. Like, I mean, if you're touring and stuff, it makes sense to kind of base yourself somewhere central, and you can train everywhere from here, and it's really cheap to live, and all that kind of stuff. So it makes heaps of sense, and obviously, you know, it's a nice, um, you know, it's a real cool little city, and lots of inspiration, and, you know, cool people. So, yeah, I think it makes sense. I'm just, you know, I'm just tagging along, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this um, collaboration with, uh, with Mara TK, did this happen back in New Zealand? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he's actually here as well, in Electoral House of Touring, um, and he was leaving at the end of May, on the 31st, so about six weeks before that we kind of um, decided that we could totally pull it off in six weeks, so <laughs> wow. we started an album. And, six, um, six weeks yeah. is, a, is a very short time, right? Yeah, long hours though. Again, like I mean, I sort of, do, I mean, I don't really think it. It doesn't feel rushed, and it's not. It wasn't rushed. I mean, we definitely put a lot of work into it, and I think if we had any longer, we probably would have achieved the same result. Um, but we would have just stuffed around more, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so I think it, it, it worked out. It was definitely we put a lot of work into it. It just was a lot more disciplined, I guess. But um, yeah, it was. Yeah, so the, to happen, really. this album really shows, I guess, to Holly Smith fans that um, you know there there are other um, influences that you enjoy, and then there are other um, other areas of music that you like exploring, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess that's why I wanted to do this sort of band and brother things, um, brothers things, which essentially did not start with Mother and Mind, to be honest. This kind of happened by default, but um, essentially. I, I mean, I started off doing collaborations. I mean, I, I did collaborations for years and years and years. I mean, there was a good 10 years of history before, I mean, something like well, Bathe in the River came along, essentially. There was plenty of things that were, I was doing before like, then. Like Solar and um, Shapeshifter and stuff like that. Solar, Conquer Dawn, you know, like all the Freddy stuff and Trinity Roots and, yeah. um, you know, Brazil stuff, and, you know, like all sorts of things that I was happening before then. So I just wanted to kind of, like, you know, break away from that and establish my own stuff, which I feel like I've done. And, um, again, this is just a bit of a vehicle to and using the name Band of Brothers um, and essentially, you know, will hopefully be an ongoing project just so I can experiment with different sounds and genres and co-writing and collaborations and, and just not, you know, sort of freak people out or, you know, well, confuse people. That, yeah. Um, you know, are sort of used to hearing me do what I've done for the previous couple of albums. Yeah, is, is it nice um, on the back of um, your recent solo album, you yeah, know, which was quite intensely personal and, and, and very much, mm. you know, um, all, all about you, that, that now sort of that weight is lifted off with an album like this so you can share the weight, as it were? Uh, yeah, I mean, it definitely didn't intentionally happen like that, but I guess, oh, maybe it did. I mean, I sort of definitely wanted to kind of do an album where I was a little bit more emotionally detached. Mm. Um, which, when you co-write, you kind of do, you know, because when you, you are sharing it. But, um, you know, it's not sitting in a room on your own kind of writing stuff. And, yeah. you know, it's, that was definitely a really cathartic kind of process for me, writing my stuff, whereas this is definitely more about the process and, um, you know, sitting down with somebody and thinking in a different way. 
and with a different discipline, especially with, well, with the time constraints, but also just a different discipline, and um, having to create lyrics for a song that day by that time, you know, like that's, um, and it, you know, it was a really good way of getting better at a craft. Cause, yeah. You know, writing is definitely what I find hardest lyric-wise. So, and, um, and, and, yeah, and me and Mudder both got noticed that we got a lot better by the end of it, that it was actually like a skill that we were getting better at, which was good. Huh. And, and so, I, I mean, I gather you'd come in with the vocals and Maratike would be providing, um, you know, the beats. Yeah, well, essentially, um, I'm using that word a lot, it's easy. Um, essentially, uh, he kind of created all the beats and we had a couple of other guest producers that mm. um, are named on the album, um, Truant and um, Camplex and a Co. Um, so we kind of had those guys involved and Mudder had his beats there and we actually both pretty much co-wrote the lyrics and melodies. So he, he wrote a lot of it and um, hence why I wanted to include him in the title and um, all that kind of thing just because yeah. he did become really predominant in what we created and yeah. it was definitely co-written and definitely together. So. And and all um, pulled together and mixed by um, by Lee Preble as well, um, who's you know uh, an award winning producer, um, has won many awards mm-hmm. for his for his albums. Um, and so it was all done in his studio. Um, yeah, we actually had his brother Ryan, who um, has been doing some engineering. He was kind of recording us in the evenings, mm. and then Lee mixed it down when we had a solid week with him. So, um, yeah, it was really good, actually. We did most of all the vocal recording at the surgery studio, which is his studio, and then um, we had, yeah, a few overdubs, like other instruments and live drums and stuff that were kind of done through a series of home studios and, you know, all that kind of shit. Just yeah. <laughs> everyone just randomly throwing us things from all sorts of directions, which can be done with an album as such as this. So seeing as, um, you know, a few of the members are over there in Europe at the moment. Will, will you get to play some of this album out and tour it around? Uh, we did essentially kind of think about, well, we were, ideally that was sort of what we thought would be great and another selling point of me coming over. But um, the meantime, it's just going far too quickly. I mean, I've been here for three weeks and um, barely scratched the surface. Yeah. And the Electric White House boys have been touring a lot as well. And so we haven't seen each other as much as we kind of expected to. And I got over a little bit later than I thought as well. And, and, so, um, and no hurry to come home? Um, kind of. It's, it's not, too cold, no, man. It's, it's cold. Really kind of <laughs> just my boyfriend and, like, yeah. it's kind of, um, it's the first time I've kind of been on the road, well, not even on the road, been uh, travelling without my band and without, like, a group of people. So yeah. it's been, I mean, although I know half of New Zealand's here, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, um, it's quite a different experience, kind of not touring in a, in a, in a pack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it sounds like, it sounds like um, you're having fun over there anyway and, and, and definitely enjoying it, and we're certainly enjoying the album back here in New Zealand. Um, oh. Br- Band of Brothers Volume 1, and we look forward to many more volumes to come as well. Yeah. Uh, Holly Smith and Murray TK. Thanks, Holly, for joining us from Berlin. Cheers. All good, bro. I'm going to uh, play something from the album now. Um, how about track number five? I don't think I've heard this one. Um, this is The Spirit Racing the Mind here on the Kiwi. <laughs> 